G'day everyone, Fox Blockhead back with you again. And here we are, right in front of Scary Pumpkin Man. Freaks me out every time. Turn the corner and I think I've got to ay -ay -ay! go after someone. Anyway, on to what we're going to do today. Welcome back to the Fox Blockhead building world. I've just been grabbing some stuff so I can start work on my very first theme park ride. So we should go through our... Uh, Arc de Triumph. Arc de Triumph. That's the Aussie way of saying it. Lower all this down. That's all good. We'll align this with our um with our stairs. <coughs> Pardon me. And this is gonna be our first theme park uh right attraction. Uh this this attraction's not open yet, Piggy. Excuse me. This attraction is not yet open. Piggy don't care. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, what this is going to be, this is going to be an escape room. So, in uh, Malaysia, when I went to Malaysia with my family only recently, we were able to visit a an escape room. And basically what's going to happen is you're going to walk through here um, over a tripwire, which is going to play you a, a menacing sound of some description and into the room where you're going to have to find some clues to try and to, to get out to solve the mystery of, of something or other now I've got some red stony type stuff I've got a spare slot now I uh, don't have any repeaters that's okay that'll be okay for now I'm not expecting to finish this today um, but basically what's going to happen is there's going to be three rooms there's going to be one here and if we get back out of this one, there's going to be one around this way. I was thinking maybe a, actually maybe a maybe a straight one um, with a little bit of a, a parkour style-ish kind of thing to it. Oh, come on, let's use the right tool for the job. And a uh, bit of a yeah, bit of a parkour feel, but still with a a, um, a puzzle to solve as you go. And then the last room will be over over here or so. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an idea of how this is all going to look, how it's all going to work in the end. And uh, I was also thinking that when you come in, maybe a dispenser fires you a button, so you get one free pass uh, from the button uh, if you place it on a certain block. Then uh, then you'll get. <coughs> Pardon me. Maybe I need a drink of water. Uh, so you get a free pass if you use a certain... Is that where I wanted it? Uh, actually, no. I wanted in one. Um, yes. So if you use a certain... Um, uh, if you p place the button on a certain block, then you get a free pass. But if you uh, put your free pass in at the very end, in the last chest then you uh, you get a bonus prize. Actually, it might have to be three free passes. Um, anyway, how are we going to do this? Um, needs to go there and there. We have some sticky variety pestons. Very good. Um, actually, now sticky pistons are very cool. What you can do with them I might need to make some torches and all the things. I grabbed... Oh, I don't really need seeds. I've got heaps of seeds. You go away, seeds. Get rid of the seeds. Um, I kind of had a button because I wanted to give stuff a go. Um, let's go over and grab a chest. I had a double chest over here. And that'll be right. No room for the uh, crafting bench. Hmm... What do we do? Leave it. Uh, let's do this. We'll need a crafting bench for some types of things. And we'll go to the front door and we'll put the stuff out here. Where are we? Get that going. 
That way I'll have room for stuff. Uh, we're going to make a bit of an entrance area here where maybe we can have someone working at the front. And we'll dress up the outside when we're done as well. Um, so we can get rid of these guys. Um, I'm not going to give you all the ins and outs of how it's going to work. Because if I ever have a, a world download of some sort, then... Um, I don't want you guys to, to know all the secrets and how it's all going to work, but I'll show you uh, roughly how the the machines and things are all going to go. Um, I'm going to need some sticklets. That's heaps of sticklets. Even more sticklets. Uh, 45. Yep, good. Okie dokie. So, let's show you redstone... Uh, means these pistons are going to are going to fire. Now, these are sticky pistons, which means they're pistons that have been uh, stickified with goo, with uh, slime balls. Man, my brain is not working tonight. So they've been stickified with uh, with uh, slime balls. Okay, now if you put that one, that one, I thought that would work. I'm good at redstone, I promise. Um, might have to do this one down here. If we do this. Ah, there we go. So, uh, turn that torch off, which will, I don't have any repeaters. I have to go find my repeaters. So, let's just do this for now. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, uh, we need a repeater. I think a comparator works like a repeater. And we'll find out in a moment, won't we? This and you are retracted at the moment, so we need to do this. Hey, what do you know? It's an expensive redstone repeater. Let's go inside. So, uh, uh, was this one here? Okay, so <clears throat> this isn't the exact setup, just to give you the idea of how it's all going to work. So we set our pistons up over there. Um, obviously we're going to have to have it so it opens permanently. Um, I was thinking a combination lock of some sort with these guys here. Maybe four combination lock. That's that's probably a bit too many. Uh, we might have to extend this by one so we can have a, a three number combination lock. And then when you get the combination correct, it opens up and that door opens up at the back. And then, or maybe this can be the... Uh, the cheaty, the cheaty block. Let's go over and sleep, hey, so that you can uh, get out of it. But like I said, I'll I'll give you the details of how all the different bits and pieces works, the bits and the bobs and the aunties and the uncles. Here we go. Um, I'll give you the details of how it's all going to work. Uh, when I'm all done, I'll show you how all the different machines work. Uh, but I won't give you any of the the finished. Hello, where are you? Oh, over behind. Oi! Huh. Oi! I must have changed that where, uh, where they don't put you on fire anymore. Eh, that's fine. Bye and bye me! Um, so yeah, that's, that's the idea for how, uh, how this is going to work. Anyway, I'm going to move this back one. Yep, I'm going to move that all back one. Um, but, I did have an idea. Actually, no, let's do it like this. Okay. Um, we'll do that. get rid of that one. There we go. That way we've got it as a, uh, a permanent opening. And, yep, yeah, that's right. So, a permanent opening. Um, and then, I'll get you to, uh, get you to build with me. You can uh, 
you can build with me and then you can tell me if I'm on the right track or not uh, with my building my building and building style so it's all sandstone so we need to have I wanted to have a long room on this one okay so that opens up there okay yeah that's pretty good and I want to have a platform here um, but I want to have it kind of dark as well so I want to have it so that it's mob proof and you, when you when you step through onto this side you've got a mob proof little area um, I'll have to go back one more actually this pick oh my goodness look at that is that just crazy town <laughs> that pick just goes nuts nutso okay so we step out the door maybe one there might look better one two three one two three and if we do another row of the slabs and I'll get rid of all the dirt as well off camera you guys don't need to see me get rid of all the dirt oh we've got uh, got this, the, the pillar sandstone we need to add some of that in there as well well okay seven seven and what I was thinking for this room is having a bit of a drop but have it as a bit of a parkour area and it's one of those things once you've done it once you're probably not gonna end up be able to do it again I don't want to make it too hard parkour because it's not it's an escape room it's not a parkour map and I'll fill in all the edges as well but my idea is that uh, oh, the parkour will distract you from what's going on on the side of the map, and on the side of the map are going to be uh, on the on the walls up here is going to be some clues for how to actually get out of this second room. So let's do one more and two three there we go and what do we do here this time maybe yeah that looks pretty good except we don't need them though we need it there there we go. This is looking good so far. And we'll retract them again. There you go. So that's how you get out of the back of this room. Oop. Except you can't just jump up there. What you need to do is come back here and you can jump back up here and try your parkour again. That's the idea anyway. Um, what happened to my... let's, let's put the button somewhere. Yeah, that'll do. And collect some of the dirt and fix up the floor. And I think it may be water, but eh, I don't know. We'll figure out a good floor. Okay, so then I'll have to work out how to do all the jumping and the and the and the things in there. And maybe out of here. Actually, if that's going to be like that, I should probably have it this way. Actually, it'll be here, won't it? Oh, but then you can't have the stuff along here. Oh, uh, you could still you could have it in the middle. Hmm. What do I do? What do I do? That's in the wrong spot. Wrong spot. If we do it here. Didn't do that properly again. Okay, we'll go. You and you. And 
you. There we go. There we go, all fixed. Beauty, mate. That way we can come out of here and we can head back towards the start. <coughs> that would be good. And, uh, and my idea for the last room is, is pretty, uh, pretty huge. Okay. So come along a bit of a corridor. And into a pretty huge room. One, two, three, four. Two, three... Four. And then this way. And then we'll come out through a corridor again. Uh, maybe a room at the end here where you can chuck in your um, unused hints. And we might need some room for some redstone. Um, I'm going to do the redstone over there for that one. The redstone at the back for that one, and the redstone on this side for this room, so we should be right there. Let's, ah, uh, there we go. From there we'll go in. There we go. So we've got a little corridor, actually. Let's make it, let's make it a really funny little corridor. And torches, oh. No torches. That's weird. Don't know why I wouldn't have torches. I'll do that so I don't have to do anything like that. So you come into the back room, the end room here. You solve the final puzzle. And that will move this wall, this wall, back. Okay, so that's where you know where to go. And we'll do that one more time with the... Uh, with the oh, with the stone. Okay, so we got two, three, and the torches. go. Let me put another one up there. There we go. So when that's extended, that'll block off the entrance there. And this is going to be the final room in here with the final puzzle over here. Oh yes. And then you come out through here. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. I'll make it the middle. Come out the middle there. We don't need that one. And we'll dress up the outside, like I said. Um, oh my goodness, this pick. This pick. Who ordered this pick? This is ridiculous. And if I do this... Um, oh, the redstone will have to come up under, under the ground. That will do. That will do. And out of here into the final area. Oops. Torches in the way. Oh, oh. And I'll be adding some stuff to the inside of this and making it look all pretty. Pretty for us. I need to get some torches in here for now too. And that was my way up from before. So the entrance area is going to be here. The exit area is going to be over here. Which means we don't really need those guys either. Oh, just for decoration. Decoration! And... Hmm, double doors at the end. The congratulatory message, and you can head out. Well, that's kind of like uh, how a maze would work. 
All right, we've got one one more room to sort out here. Uh, let's do it like how should we do it? What have we got? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, three. Um, I don't think that was right. You know what? That might that would actually look alright. I've got to consider what it's going to look like from up above as well, because uh, from up above, I've got a new um, aerial map view that I can look at. Yeah, this this should be alright. We'll be able to get something that looks good for this. We have a little little front area where we can put a little path down there. Let me do this. Here we go. So I have a little counter over here where we have a villager. He'll take our money and then we go in, open the door and enter. Oh, and then we go in, put in the right combination for one. Oh, you scared me, cow. You are almost no longer a cow. We got a little parkour where you've got to have a look over there, put in the code. Second room opens up, come into here. Third room, put in the code. Be wary of creepers. Last one opens up. Final room where you can put your uh, your cheats back in here and exit. Brilliant. I love it. I love it. Well, there you have it. Our first idea of a ride. Let's get that in the background. We can we can uh, make that the screenshot for the episode. Screenshot time! Alrighty, well if you've got any ideas for this or other projects, be sure to come and find me on social media. I have a Facebook page, I've got the Twitter profile, and uh, of course you can leave comments in the in the messages below, in the uh, messages of the, of the video. But that's all for me from now. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'll see you later, alligators.